Hello everyone, welcome back to Webtoon Rant. Today we've got the Ice Flower Knight or a Frost Flower Knight depending on the translation. Let's get straight into it. So, the Rosento family has a curse. Basically, the Rosento family's original predecessor killed the Fire Witch. The Fire Witch cursed the Rosento so their children die really really quickly before they grow up. So the Rosento original family guy went to the Ice Witch and was like, Hey, can you not let my children die? And she did offer him a solution. However, it basically meant that the children would grow to be very ugly. But if they reach mastery in the ice sword style that the, from the ice switch, then they would, you know, become a good person. Like, they would become pretty again. And However, it, it made them incredibly ugly and look like a monster, unfortunately. And that's basically you know, the entire story of the Rosenthal family. The main character, Julia Rosenthal, also had that same curse. However, thankfully, thankfully, she found the prince who loved her for what she was. And to reply to that love, she served her prince, you know, actually very, very faithfully and used, let her, let him use her as his sword to cut down his enemies. However, Julia was betrayed by the person that she loved. All of that loyalty, all of that, those things that she had done for the prince was all for nothing. It was all a lie. And he says, think of it as just a dream. What a fucking dickhead. The only price for her love was betrayal and death. And right as she's about to die, she reaches mastery in her sword style, and we see her in her actual form, in her beautiful, beautiful look of Julia Rosenthal. Then she's sent back to the past. Yes, this is the start of the webtoon. She's sent back to the past before she actually made any of these bad decisions, and there she decides she's gonna live her life as her own. She masters her sword style and becomes a sword master, restoring herself in with her beautiful, beautiful form and her how she originally looks before the curse. Then she decides to become the captain of the Winter Knights, fighting evil and eventually finding love. And that is the story. This is a story of Julia deciding that she won't be swayed by anyone, live her life on her own as a good independent woman, serving as the leader of the Winter Knights. And basically, it's just a beautiful story of her growing, of her getting out of that trauma, of that hurt, of that betrayal, and becoming a person of her own. Popular media, this is how you do woman power if you really want to do it. We don't like, it's not like we don't like strong women. I mean, I love this webtoon. We just don't like bad writing, <coughs> Captain Marvel. Anyways, so basically, this story, I actually really like how the story goes. There are a lot of really interesting themes. The beginning first chapter was incredibly compelling. It is possibly one of my favorite openings to a webtoon ever. Um, and I just really, really like the story so far. However, recently it's getting a slightly slow paced and I don't know how the plot really ends. So basically, it's quite a good story, but it could become, it could go down to a C or go up to an A depending on the ending and the themes and how that all comes together. But currently, it's a B. I would highly recommend it. It's a very interesting story. I really like the pacing and the concept. And in general, I just really like the idea of this strong female knight. And for those who like that kind of thing, with a little touch of romance on the side, I would highly recommend. And that's about it. Have a great day. That was Webtoon Rand. Have a great day.